I'm Laura from Garden Sanity, and today's video is about evergreens turning brown inside the tree or shrub. Have you recently noticed any yellow or brown needles on your evergreens? And did it seem like they weren't there yesterday, but they are today, and you didn't do anything differently? Don't panic, let me explain. So, we're used to leaves falling off trees in autumn every year, right? These trees have cycles, and in the fall, they shed their leaves before going dormant for the winter season. They're referred to as deciduous trees. Well, evergreens have similar cycles, like deciduous trees and shrubs, even though evergreens don't go dormant in the winter season. In late summer and fall, conifers, which are needled evergreens like arborvitaes, hanoki cypress, and my beloved false cypress devon cream, which I'll show you in a moment, they shed many of their needles, similar to how deciduous trees and shrubs shed their leaves in the fall. Some people call this routine dieback. Now, there are a few conifers that do shed all of their needles for the winter season, such as larch trees, but that's another topic for another day. So what does it look like? The needles that are shed are going to be on the inside of the shrub or tree. We're not talking about brown needles at the tips. That's also a different issue for another day. These needles, the brown ones that are on the inside, they're the oldest needles and usually the ones that don't get as much sun. However, on this Anoki cypress, for example, they're still brown even though these needles are more exposed to the sun. So here's my own experience with this. The first time I ever noticed this was on my beloved false cypress Devon cream a few years ago, and it freaked me out. I immediately worried that something got onto the plant, such as pesticide blown on the wind from a neighbor's yard, perhaps. It can happen. I just wasn't sure, and I didn't know what to do. So I began painstakingly cutting out the brown needles, thinking if it was a fungus, I'd try my best to get rid of it. It was only later, when I did some research into evergreens and conifers, that I discovered that this is a natural process that happens every year for most evergreens, most conifers, which are needled evergreens. So. That changed my whole perspective on things. And with your needled evergreens, you're going to find that some of yours are going to do this a lot, some a little bit. So you might notice it, you might not notice it, but it does happen usually every year. Some evergreens will not shed needles for a couple of years. Some will do it every five years. It's, it's really hard to predict, but there will be needle drop every year. That you can count on. And it's not a big deal. So do you need to do anything? Not really. Some people will go in with pruners or clippers and try to clip out the brown stuff, like I did a few years ago. Um, other people will take just a gloved hand and reach in there, and the, especially the brown brittle ones will come off pretty easily. Make sure you use a gloved hand because some of these needles, especially once they dry, can be very sharp. So kind of test it before you just plunk your hand in there and scream. I did read where one couple actually used a leaf blower and they went all up and down their row of arborvitaes and they just put the leaf blower on it and brown needles went out everywhere. I can't imagine the mess. And I, for my own arborvitaes, I worry because especially in the backyard, we have so many birds nests in there that I would never do that. However, I can imagine the satisfaction that this couple had seeing all the brown stuff instantly gone. So I guess that's an option too. So what do I do? I'm not as concerned. Now that I know it's a naturally occurring thing that happens around this time every year, I'm not as freaked out. In fact, I'm not freaked out. So what I do is I will use a gloved hand, make sure you use a gloved hand, and I will get in there and I will get the deadest of the needles, which are usually towards the center. If there's some that are still brown and I tug on them and they don't come off easily, I'll leave them. I'm not that concerned. I can tell how healthy the tree or shrub is just by looking at it. So in the case of the false cypress Devon cream, it's got a gorgeous blue-green color. It's got a little bit of a silver look to it. It's nice and healthy. I mean, just looking at the growth, how high it's going, it, this tree is very happy. It was a shrub, now it's becoming a tree and we love it. So there you have it. Don't panic. It's normal. Until next time, happy gardening.